Yo, what's up, my brother? What's up, my sister? This is your boy Oscar Ntege again with yet another amazing tutorial. I've been asked very, very many times by you guys to do a tutorial on skin color grading. This is a more simplified version. This is the simplest skin color grading tutorial you will find online. And in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get those super glamorous skin tones for a beauty shot without further ado let's dive into this when you look at this image it has already been edited using a technique called frequency separation for those of you who don't know what frequency separation is it is a, a skin color rather it is a skin editing technique that most beauty retouchers use and top magazines out there so if you want to watch the video on a screen on, the, on frequency separation just click that link up there and get a full preview of what frequency separation is all about anyway let's get into this now the first thing you have to do you have to just come right here and then we first do what they call selective color now in under selective color this panel would open this panel the reds definitely you're working on the skin tones yeah it's you first work on the reds so what we're going to do you just come and extend the cyans and just pull them a bit out just like that so that we make the skin tones more vibrant the next thing we're going to do is just cut out the magenta slightly a bit so that the the picture doesn't get overly red right right there the rest you just leave intact so the next thing we are going to do we are going to work on to the neutrals the neutrals these are the the grays and all that so that we give this picture what they call mood so how you do that you still come here onto the science this time around we're just going to let it zoom out a little bit so that you guys see how this whole thing is being affected so what we are going to do we just come and you know just increase the science because remember in the reds we we popped the science a bit up in this particular one we want to counterbalance it by pushing the science a little bit you know then uh, you come still onto the magenta still you take it towards that side just to counterbalance what we had done in the previous session so the next thing you have to do is just pump the blacks a bit up so that because the, the goal is to have that popping kind of skin so those are the two knobs you handle when it comes to skin color grading so we shall go back to the layers the next thing we're going to do we are going to come here and say gradient map now gradient map this is more of uh, like sp split toning uh, split toning is where you have the shadows ha having a different feel from the highlights let me demonstrate this now you you just come here click into this and you come this part here represents the shadow zones and this one represents the highlight tones and this represents the middle tones you can create a knob here by just clicking here but we are just only going to work on complete opposites so what we are going to do you just come and click here right there and then you come and look for this cyan like color because we want the shadows to have that kind of dark green blue kind of feel so you just come and click over there if you want you can copy this color code and just paste it into your picture right there and then you just come onto the highlights here and then we turn this to web and just raise this to that particular you no know, black just around there because what what we want is to get this milky kind of uh, I don't know what color it is but something like that so that we give it that kind of feel because remember we are trying to get those high-end skin tones that most magazines have and then you come and say okay right there so the next thing you have to do you just come here and reduce the opacity to just around uh let me see i think 
uh, a 15 would do or uh, a 15 would do for now we can always come back and revise it but now when you look at this picture it is looking a bit foggy yeah see with the gradient map and without the gradient map it is looking a bit foggy so what do we do we change the blending mode to color just like that so now we have more contrast into the whole image so the next thing we are going to do we are going to work on to what they call the curves just right here come and say curves and then you pull the shadows a bit down and just come here in the highlights and also pull these slightly up just like that you know at the end of the day you really want i don't want it to get so dark so we're just going to come in still just pull this a bit up so the next thing we are going to do we are going to make the eat the picture a bit warmer you come here into the blues and just come and pull this just a little bit down just like that and come into the highlights and then just pull it also up so the last thing we are going to do we are going to touch the levels levels you basically just come here and we're just going to pull this slightly back and brighten the image up so this one works on the midtones this one works on the highlights and this one works on the shadows so i'll just pump the midtone slightly back so that we get the picture lighten up a bit this gives us uh what should i say the reason why i bring it backwards is uh it helps us see the to guess gauge the measurement of shadows and then you just come and push this up front so that you see how your blacks are going to be the, the the goal is not to crush the blacks to bring them to that level no you just want to bring them to a level where they look really beautiful you know i guess that would be nice so we're going to take back the mid ones where they were slightly so that they somehow gradually blend in with the blacks just like that so we are just going to make the highlights pop just a little bit just like that right there so the one last trick i usually do to make to get more cleaner light i usually come in the blue knob and just come onto the highlight knob and just push it forward see how the color of light changes by just you pushing this forward so this is a question of test you may want it in the warm tones but this time around i just want it to be into those cool kind of tones so the next thing we are going to do is just come here and say vibrancy now this is a question of taste you may want to increase the vibrancy or leave it but where we are at the other particular moment is all done so we just come and say vibrancy just pump the vibrancy up and also this a bit the saturation just a bit down for for the same and let's put this in the group so that you guys get to see the before and after let us see that's the before color grading that's the after before and after guys i think that's that for today i hope to see you in my next tutorial if you have not yet subscribed to this channel take a minute click that subscribe button and definitely i'll see you in my next tutorial that's that for now and Adiós.